I vow to you that as long as I am on this earth, I will live out the unconditional love that Paul illustrates in this letter. I will show up every day for you and will never let you feel alone on this earth. I will do whatever it takes to ensure that you get to experience the same love that you give to me, as it is a most beautiful thing. I love you, and I love the way you love me. I feel extremely privileged to be living the life I am living with you. To be standing here today is such a gift. My heart is yours. Bad summer nights we never left. The truth is you're still on my breath. You're a Tennessee rose and Oregon pine. Honey, you've been hard to find. to be your wife from this day forward? I do. And Kayla, do you take Jackson and his vows to be your husband from this day forward? I do. By the powers vested in me from the state of Florida and the internet, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I'm 
partner in every endeavor you go on, every challenge you face, every loss you suffer, and every obstacle you will overcome. From this day forward, I vow to you that I will always be beside you till death do us part. I love you. Really down by Silver Lake, all the time and that it takes, finding some just like you who could love me as you do all the pieces that i share like a puzzle Who is more forgetful? With that being said, always love and cherish each other. So let's raise a glass. Here's to the groom who has a bride so fair, and here's to the bride with a groom that is so rare. Um, I do know that Jackson brings out the best in Kayla, and I don't think either one of them could have chosen a better person for themselves to grow old with. I know my son, he made the right decision. There's no doubt about it. And like I said, all I can say is I'm so happy for him and for her, and I'm the luckiest dad in the world to have him, okay? And I toast to them, all right? Toast, cheers. So